very simple way to lay out a horizontal alignment and use the table method to define the curves that go with it. And I've already created a geometry project. I've got a horizontal alignment that's, um, well, let's make sure it's empty here. So I'm just going to empty it out because I have been goofing around with it. But I'm just going to go back up to geometry, horizontal curve set, and add PI. And what that's going to allow me to do is just lay out tangents that I want for my particular design. And we'll come back here and we'll just terminate here by the uh, edge of that parking lot. So now I've got my tangents in and I want to add the curves. A lot of people go back to horizontal curve set and define curve, which is fine. But you can also use table editor. That gives you a little bit more of a graphic display. As I touch up here in the radius, I can see the two tangents that um, highlight. And if I want to put a certain radius curve in there, I can simply put it in, tab out. It's going to show me uh, what that curve is. If I decide to change it, just re-enter a different value for the radius. And then I can just move on down my curve. So we'll try uh, 850 at that location. Come back here, and maybe we'll try a 120-foot radius curve at that location. So if I close, I have a very simple horizontal alignment that's been built. We can still go back to the geometry tools. If I want to move a PI, you can see it, it operates just as it uh, would if I had used the define curve command. It keeps the um, curve radius that I specified filtered between the two tangents. So I'm just going to drop it at that location, and there's my horizontal curve. And as you hopefully know, any alignment always starts at station 0. If I wanted to find the beginning station value, just go to Horizontal Curve Set, Stationing. Inroads is going to report the starting station. If I want this uh, alignment to start at station 15, I can tab out, select Apply. Now station 15 begins back here and runs in the direction that I drew that. So we can just go ahead and view stationing to verify that took place. I'm just going to take the defaults here, and I can see that I, my point of beginning is at station 15 and continues on. That's it for this tip. Thank you for watching.